clearly you don't understand the deep philosophical genius of hentai. It's mastered many arts that are lost to the majority of good anime. For example, character development. Everyone always says a good story needs character development. Well, if you look at something like One Piece with its 4 billion episodes, and you look at Luffy's character development, the guy didn't change much from episode 1 to episode 900. But if you look at the absolute mastery of hentai, 90% of the stories, they start off not wanting to be in that uh, situation they end up falling into. Then a little bit later, several tongues stuck out and a few eye rolls and blammo. All of a sudden, they start liking it. They start wanting more of it. And this is clear character development. They start off at point A, they end up in point B, the progression is clear throughout, absolute mastery, Sentai is an art form fam, don't forget that. Where have I gone wrong? I mean, in all seriousness, I'm an anime YouTube guy. I talk about cartoons, the brilliant psychologies, the philosophies, and I make memes. That is what I've set out to do, but somehow, I've been thrown into predicament that I could have never foreseen happening ever. I've managed to get to a point that, in the comment sections of my videos, and on Twitter, and on my subreddit, which is linked in the description, People aren't even talking about my content anymore. No, they're talking about the content I've decided to make. What's in the videos goddamn irrelevant. What the videos are about have become the biggest meme of them all. I guess in a way I'm kind of proud, but like why fam? Look at this meme on my subreddit. Anime Flex is part 12. No thank you, Mr. Drake says. Biggest flex in hentai. Mmm, that's what Drake's into. We don't care about what's in the videos. Hell no. It's what the videos are about. Oh, but at least we've evolved since that point. Another hentai video. Video. Finally getting honest descriptions of the Hokage. Let's be honest, this is legit no one ever. This is taking the meme to the next level exactly in the way I was referring to before. What's in the videos? Nah, who cares about that crap? What the videos are about? Now that's what's fascinating. In case you didn't know, my honest descriptions of the Hokage meme should be dead by now. I made that video twice, goddammit. You're still asking for it. I mean, come on. I will never see Dr. Stone the same way again. Previous meme. I'm so happy to see her cured. After Nux and Gigax hentai videos, there's no no way they did this unintentionally. You see, the true genius of Giguk and my hentai videos was not to get views. No, <laughs> absolutely not. It was to broaden your mind. It was to see hentai everywhere. No, this this is not the moral of the story. Me buys a Higo hoodie. Mom throws it away. Me, woman, where is my super suit? See, this is funny and relatable because we all have a Higo hoodie. God damn, my subreddit is freaking awesome. I love you guys. Especially because the next one is a JoJo reference. Stop right there. Yeah, it is. He does it. He says Mojo Jojo, the greatest of all the Jojos. And I very much appreciate how, uh, aside from the art being absolutely on point, the best part is they realize that Jotaro is actually, in fact, the protagonist of part three, but the antagonist to the greater Jojo series, since Dio is the protagonist. I think that is fairly obvious. Teachers according to anime. Yes, very good. Teachers according to hentai. Ah, he's looking rather boasty. My experience. I'll be watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. Yeah, well, I have to say, I don't fully relate to this because for me, it's not just teachers. It's like women in anime, women in real life. All right, that was a bit too hard hitting. Nux flexing on the other YouTube channels and causing them to follow him. Lost Paw Senpai saying, hentai memes will delete soon. So to be fair, I did flex on the entire YouTube environment. That is 100% fact. What is not fact is that he's not following me due to my flex. He was legit asking, yo, what do you think I should make? I'm like, dude, you should make a video on hentai memes. This is actually a true story and not at all meme. In fact, he even tweeted on Twitter that it was my idea. So, well, extremely cool, Lord Noxenor. Extremely cool. <laughs> The greatest anime of all time chosen by anime Twitter. It's that ridiculously terrible bracket with Demon Slayer winning and with like Berserk and Code Geass losing in the first round to My Hero Academia and Dr. Stone respectively. And then there's me attacking Naranja from JoJo's with a fork when he gave the bad math problem to Fugo. I relate to this very, very much. Ahsoka 2020, a candidate for president, Lord Trumpledore, looking at his phone, election candidate Ahsoka. You are the enemy of the people. Schwing! Didn't expect that, but that's okay. Well, Lord Trumpledore. You clearly don't know who the real opponent in the 2020 election is. But Lord Trumpledore San Chan, you'll be absolutely devastated by Hisoka, who will be making America great again. Haha! <laughs> now, this is how you improve a Drake meme making monetizable content. Biggest flexes in hentai. Yes, I relate to this very much because honestly, as I've mentioned, I do it for the memes, and uh, I guess memes are more powerful than currency. But what you didn't know is that the biggest flex in hentai is that I actually managed to monetize a lot of them. Well, at least for like a day until YouTube fries them 
them, and then I'm like, uh oh, YouTube, now it is time to take down video. But honestly, it's the adrenaline rush that keeps us all going. I mean, right? It's not the fact that I'm actually talking about hentai. It's the fact that I had the balls to make a video talking about hentai. Which is why somehow the memes revolving my channel aren't about what I'm saying anymore. They're about the videos that I make where I say random stuff, and I guess they're enjoyable because people are subscribing or whatever. But the replies aren't, oh, Nux, you said a funny thing there. No, they're Nux, you made a funny idea for a video. I don't care what was in the video. Very cool fan base. Very cool. Flexing on me hard there. Lord Nux and Or Sama saying hentai names to my friend. Write that down. Write that down. You see, the brilliance of my hentai videos is that I use it in a way to bring weebs together. I don't like the idea how hentai stigmatizes you and it's something that people go to when they're alone. They're alone, sad, and they don't have a girlfriend because they're in a position that they want to watch hentai. And then the world just beats them down. And you know, I'm serious because the world not the world though. So I've developed the most brilliant process ever. I am such a douche that I don't put the names on screen and I don't know how I didn't figure out to start doing that yet and I'm not sure if I'm going to start now because well now it's becoming a meme that I can't put the names on the screen and you have no idea what I'm talking about. And I think that's pretty funny, not going to lie. So yes, I don't put the names on screen not because I'm a douche. No, it's because my hentai videos, they are not to divide the weebs. They are to bring weebs together. Yes, watching my hentai video, definitely a two-person process. You need one guy to watch him and the other guy to write them down. Biggest flexes in hentai and greatest plots in hentai. These are bonding videos that will be remembered for generations. Do not divide the weebs. Weebs are stronger together. Onoki stops a meteor and almost passes out. Madara! Mmm! There is another! <laughs> I love this one. I like the there is another meme, and honestly, well played, well played. Every time. Me getting invested in a new anime. Episode 12. Alright, so episode 12 being the dildo coming out of a chair that I've talked about in uh, Greatest Plots in Hentai 3. So, I very much disagree with the philosophy behind this meme, because while episode 12 definitely would make you scream as much as this scene did in that specific anime that I will not be talking about too vividly. She did not have to sit down on that chair. If she would have just said to the teacher, yo teacher, uh, this dude put a thingo sticking out of my chair that they want me to sit on, the teacher would have come and expect it and say, hmm, after much inspection, I deduce that you should not sit on this chair. But no, Hentai very much does not want you to believe that there are other people present in any situation and it's like, oh, she has no choice but to sit down on that chair. So I very much disagree with the entire philosophy behind this meme because everyone wants to watch episode 12, even though she did not need to sit down on that chair. Okay, but memes aside, clearly you don't understand the deep philosophical genius of hentai. It's mastered many arts that are lost to the majority of good anime. For example, character development. Everyone always says a good story needs character development. Well, if you look at something like One Piece with its four billion episodes, and you look at Luffy's character development, the guy didn't change much from episode one to episode 900. But if you look at the absolute mastery of hentai, 90% of the stories, they start off not wanting to be in that uh, situation they end up falling into. Then a little bit later, several tongues stuck out and a few eye rolls and blammo. All of a sudden they start liking it. They start wanting more of it. And this is clear character development. They start off at point A, they end up in point B. The progression is clear throughout. Absolute mastery. Hentai is an art form, fam. Don't forget that. So, try better next time. YouTube dealing with Nux's hentai vids be like. YouTube coming to throw me out. YouTube happy that they finally got rid of me. And Lord Nux and O was behind them all along with the gun. So, I really need to watch The Simpsons one day. I don't get any of the memes, but I kind of get the drift over here. And yes, it is 100% true. I flex on YouTube uh, on the weekly. Posting hentai in the subreddit. Giving Nux flex material. <laughs> so, what you didn't know is, this is 100% accurate. At first, I expected everyone here to just be making the fun of, like, you know, the fact that I'm making fun of hentai. But in actuality, no! Most of them aren't. Wow, Nux is a weirdo. He talks about hentai. No! There! Ha! Ha! Nux just flexed on YouTube talking about hentai. Very cool fan base. Extremely cool. Wow. Didn't think it'd actually paint me in an overall positive light. Borderline crying right here. Next! When the world needed him most. And you know he's serious because says the world not so hard, though. Alright, I'm gonna head out and it's a very cool picture of SpongeBob Ang. So, for those of you who didn't know, and that's all of you because I've never mentioned it. I just started watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time two days ago. So yes, I fully understand this meme. And yes, I'm watching it for the first time because a lot of people have been telling me, hey Nux, you should make a video on how Katara is an actual useful shonen whammon. She's not a shonen whammon. This is not anime. As much as I am enjoying the series and I am enjoying the series, it is so not anime, it's scary. It's obviously anime inspired, but I don't understand the four brain cells that people rub together trying to pass this off as anime. None of the cliches match at all. It's a great show. You're allowed to enjoy 
enjoy it. But it's not like, oh, I like this and I like anime, so it's anime. Oh, I like The Office and I like anime. The Office is actually anime. Dwight is one of my favorite anime protagonists of all time. That's not how Zawardo works, fam. And you know, I'm not 100% serious because it's Zawardo, not the world. <laughs> Next one. Hit it and quit it. Come in the hole, then nigga Fill her up to 11, then go to heaven. Give her the spillage and leave the village. I don't get it. Next. We'll delete soon. Me. Download video. Yes, feel free to download the videos. I know you do it. And honestly, I'm very inspired and proud that you feel like you want to actually watch my videos on a future occasion. So honestly, I'm glad when I hear people say that they're downloading it to see it in a future time. It makes me very happy. Just as far as the re-uploading goes, please don't re-upload it. It can actually get traced back to me and will put me in a lot of trouble. And I'm trying to survive here on this very harsh environment. Please do not re-upload. If you did, please take it down. And if you see them, please tell them I don't want them. Like, honestly, it's dangerous. She's going on here. I'm enjoying the memes, but I want to survive. Next, having sex with a tomboy. Expectations. It's actually my first time. Uh, please be gentle, okay? Hey, hey, I said please don't be too fast. Jeez. Yeah. Reality. Damn, nice dick, bro. Very, very hashtag relatable. This is what I'm talking about. And I can bring you to greater heights than you've ever seen before. The deep philosophical mastery and the dark tales imbued in hentai are very much to give you life lessons on how to grow in the future. Not, not to physically grow because that's not how to physically grow in the future. It's like physically grow right now. Life lessons for the future. That's the beauty of the medium. Anyway, I think this is extremely cool because it very much goes to show how expectations and reality are very different, especially when it comes to whammon. And besides, everyone wants a whammon that will compliment your dick. And especially if it's, hey, nice dick, bro. Extremely cool. Hentai tomboy whammon. Extremely cool. And I also want to point out that this is a perfect situation of where bros before hoes applies to the hoe! Yes, extremely cool. Deep and thought-provoking. Next Taku! Greatest blacks in anti four. YouTube. <laughs> That is correct. The sacred scroll of sealing that Naruto stole when he was a 12-year-old schnook is exactly greatest plot in Hentai 4 to me. Yes, it will teach us all how to use shadow clone jutsus and bring us further in life. I also like how YouTube is Mizuki and Uruka like fighting to the death out there because YouTube's a goddamn battlefield. People are getting shot down left and right, demonetized, copyrighted, community strikes, drama everywhere. People are losing subscribers, stealing clout. And then there's me just like hiding on the sidelines <laughs> holding a miniature nuke. Uh, I'm reading into this meme way too much but I still love it, so sorry, fam. Female weeb saying they exist. Male weeb saying female weebs don't exist. Me, a female weeb, not wanting to exist anyways. And I think that's Emi Richu over there. Extremely cool. But we know this meme is false because while it's true that if there was a female weeb, the female weeb would pretend not to exist. But we know that female weebs don't exist despite the fact that they say they do. It's a very difficult eternal time loop that one day we will hopefully understand. Lectures will come and go. But when Lord Nuxenor says we'll delete soon, he means we'll delete soon. Oh, anti protect without eyes kun uh, on computer screen in the middle of a lecture hall. Ah, oh, that hurts me. Oh, what am I doing to society? Oh, I'm so disgusted and proud at the same time sometimes. Extremely cool. Next. Unhappy Nux. Make biggest flexes in hentai video and talk exclusively about flexes in hentai. Happy Nux. Make biggest flexes in hentai. Mention one hentai flex and flex on the fan base on how we took over Pornhub, Reddit, YouTube, and the entire internet single-handedly. Okay, in case you didn't notice, and this is very important, I did a video biggest flexes in hentai and I talked talked about the biggest flexes in hentai. This video was not titled that at all. No, this video is titled the biggest flex singular in hentai. Yes, here we learn all about grammar as well, it seems. And that is because the single biggest flex in hentai was my flex. So yes, I was flexing for the entire video. Very understandable because that's what the video was about. It was not clickbait. It was 100% accurate. And yes, I totally understand why in retrospect, it's a massive dick move. That said and done though, I'm very proud of that video. I'm very proud of this community and I wanted to thank Thank you guys for everything. So I made a very heartfelt video that of course you guys had to clown on because wow fan base extremely cool. I mean, what do I expect? I mean, I do this to everyone else. So I guess I very much deserve it. Hentai exists. Nux Taku. It's free real estate. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Nux Taku. Biggest flexes in hentai. Is this monetizable? <laughs> Low key. I got the last one monetized. I am so proud of myself. I'm so proud of this community. And you want to hear the real biggest flex in hentai? The fact that YouTube can Community whacked one of my videos. They took it down. I was so sad. I fought the claim knowing I was walking into a losing battle. And Lord Nuxenor was victorious. They removed the claim. My channel is free of strike and strife. So yes, this is a very poor example of the is this a pigeon meme because it is a pigeon this time. That, that's not what I meant, but whatever. When Nux announced new One Piece video. Ooh, no one understands Zoro. Mm, biggest flexes in One Piece. And again, grammar fam, it's biggest flex in One Piece. And I was very happy. 
happy with that video. But I understand why you're annoyed about, you know, the lack of nobody understands Zoro because uh, I promised that like a long time ago and I haven't done it. And I even did like an hour long video on fairy tales, so I don't like have an excuse that, oh, I don't have time to devote to an hour long analysis video since I just did that. So like, I guess I kind of deserve it, but we're going to make believe I don't. And you guys are the assholes here. So next meme, best anime Twitter poll. Next <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I kind of felt bad afterwards because I didn't just demolish that Twitter poll. I used it as almost a stigma on the entirety of any Twitter, proving they're all clowns based on this one poll. So, like, very, very fair and beam. And I don't regret it at all because, you know, I get crap for being a troll. May as well get the bonuses of being a troll. Actually having sex like a normie. Watching porn instead. Watching hentai for the plot. Watching hentai for the plot. Watching hentai to get more materials for your memes. Watching hentai for the plexus with Thanos Twigo. Wow, this is like legit everything into one. If you want to get on this Luai knockoff that I didn't name yet, this legit has everything. It's funny, it has Lord Twigo, it's about me, and it abuses a meme template. Truly incredible. Other anime YouTubers, you can't just make your fans happy with hentai videos. Nuxtaku, release the biggest flexes in hentai to his fan base, observe. Damn, that's very impressive. I thought only someone like Lord Brigo in all his chadliness would be able to accomplish something like, oh my god, is that actually Lord Brigo? Anyway, we're gonna move to the next one so it doesn't get awkward. Me! Watches anime. Parents walk in. Girl in anime. I have decided I want to moan. Every time! I cannot describe how relatable this is. Can you imagine when I actually record in other people's houses? Do you understand how terrible recording anti videos in other people's houses are? Uh, well, I'll do it for the fan base. For the fan base. Makes an anime reference. Entire family is confused. My dad gets it. It was an anti reference. <laughs> That's a big nanny! It's like your dad says, Hey, you want me to buy you an Ahigo hoodie for your birthday? It's like, No! No! That's hilarious. When you don't see anything about the greatest character in all of anime, but that means you can show off Lord Twigo-sama. Yes, yeah, extremely cool. Thank you. We needed one just meme fully devoted to Lord Twigo, I guess. You know an anime character is really broken when even the meme doesn't die. Pitch for the best hentai in the world! Oh, Nux X Zone. Yeah, that's right. That's me, Lord Nuxinor. The best way to review hentai is to collab with hentai. Let's get zone to host hentai review. That's right. Fully steal the entire PewDiePie shtick. But Loki, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Collabing with zone. The best plots in zone's hentai. <laughs> oh man, fan base, you killed me. And also, what the heck is that picture of me? Like, where did you even get that fan art? Damn. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Greatest anime of all time chosen by anime Twitter. I love how this bracket became a legit meme on my channel somehow. And Ben Shapiro. The founders are spinning so fast in their graves, they're drilling directly to the core of the earth. Thank you, Ben Shapiro. This is epic. And I have to say, even though I don't agree with all of his opinions, Ben Shapiro memes are goddamn phenomenal. Especially because I remember I made a video making fun of power scaling in Naruto and I said, Definitely subscribe for the next video called How Ben Shapiro Destroys the Uchiha Clan with Facts and Logic. And I still, to this day, like a long time later, get comments saying, Yo, Nux, when's the Ben Shapiro Destroys the Uchiha Clan with Facts and Logic video? And now that I remind myself that I'm telling you this, I am immediately slapping myself in the balls because I know you're going to be asking me for that now again then. And, and I just walked into that one face first. No take backsies on the memes. At least if you asked for Ben Shapiro destroying the Uchiha clan with facts and logic maybe you'll forget about No One Understands Zoro. Or honest descriptions of the Hokage. Or biggest flexes in Hentai 2. Or greatest plots in Hentai 3. God, I shouldn't promise all this stuff. What is wrong with me? Nuxtaku's fan base when he releases biggest flexes in Hentai 3. That's right. Now I can't stop picturing Woody saying Udi! And it is Loki. Terrifying. Close second to Twigo-sama. Eskinor. Flexinor. Lord Flexinor. Thank you, Winnie the Pooh meme, for returning. Truly showing your greatness to Zawardo. Because what most people don't know at this point, it's that Eskinor is what normies call him. Flexinor is what I call him when I mention him in my Flex videos, which I've done more than once since I'm an absolute mad lad. Lord Flexinor, that refers to me. Next meme is Heated Green. Daisa no Bakudan. Bites the September 30, 2359. October 1st, 0000. I was gonna say, hey, that's so funny because, like, October, everyone starts with the skeleton memes, but low-key, the skeleton memes suck. I just want an excuse to say, Kidded Queen! Daisa no Bakudan! Bites the dusto! And the reason why I explained that joke is so I could say that twice. Going to our Nuxtaku submissions. Going to our PewDiePie submissions. What? Did you give me an excuse to link and shill out my subreddit to everyone? Thank you! Link to my subreddit in the description! I'm excited for next episode, but we're not done yet. Sad but true. Time stopping
stopping hentai. Me, my girlfriend. All right. The fact that time stopping hentai in particular is what became the huge meme is hilarious. Like, I'm always out there yelling, Zawardo! Just for the sake of making a JoJo reference. I understand it's not usually funny, but I don't care. I just like referencing JoJo's. And then time stopping hentai comes along. I didn't even make a JoJo reference when I talked about it, and it still managed to break Pornhub's trending. So, time stopping hentai in particular is pretty hilarious. Nux finishes greatest plots in hentai. Time to go meet, beat my meat and potatoes. Ah! Oh, what am I doing with my life? Ahsoka 2020, we can do it. Ah, Mr. Krabs, I can't wait to break you. Bungie Gum possesses the properties of both rubber and gum. Low key, most people did not know that even after finishing Hunter x Hunter. You're doing God's work out here reminding the people how the Twitter server, even though it should say survey, should have been like. Greatest anime of all time chosen by anime Twitter. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, winning every single round. Low key, it would have been really tough for the JoJo's to beat the other JoJo's in the first round, but you know, the work is worth it because Jojo ends up being victorious as it should have been. I made that video on such a whim. I am so happy you guys enjoyed it as much as it seemed to make you happy. Loki, it's almost like you like it when I troll people. I don't know why. Real life 3D whammon. 2D anime whammon. 2D redhead high school hentai vampire whammon. Forgot that she's also a succubus, but you know it. I love putting her on thumbnails now. I feel like putting her on thumbnails legit is a personal meme. Not that it's even the most popular hiantioi, but I made so much fun of how I put it on, then Giga put it on, then I put it on the next one. I just kind of want to put it on all my thumbnails now and that's gonna be very sad for the YouTube environment it seems oh so you are defending fairy Teru instead of roasting the crap out of it you are praising it just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's crap let's fight <laughs> <laughs> Referencing every bit of Joey's hatred towards Fairy Tail, even with the let's fight at the end. It's pretty hilarious. I do appreciate that even though I shout Dio phrases more than Jotaro phrases, you put me on Jotaro purely because I defeated Joey in this argument. Very one-sided argument, because he basically said Fairy Tail is garbage, and then I made a video saying nah uh and then we proceeded to not talk about it ever, mostly because I have a feeling Joey avoids me for some reason that I am unaware of. If you're watching this, Joey, which you probably aren't, because you I think you're avoiding me for some reason I'm not aware of, very cool. I still think you're pretty cool. And I respect your wrong opinion about fairy tales. <laughs> Next taku. Biggest flexes in hentai. <laughs> will delete soon. Shooting myself in the head. Damn, that's actually amazing. I love Tom and Jerry memes. Tom and Jerry holds such a great place in my childhood. Jerry, OP done right. And Tom also, because he keeps shooting himself in the face and he's totally fine. But little did you know, the will delete soon is not what's shooting me in the face, fam. It's the uploading. If I were to re-memify this creation, it would be Nux Taku. The biggest flexes. And then over the barrel of the gun of hentai, which is really what's shooting shooting myself in the face here. The Nux Taku Starter Pack. Zawardo Meat and Potatoes. Next Flex. And Thanos Twigo. I don't know how Thanos Twigo is the one that stuck around, but you know, props to Thanos Twigo, you're a mad lad. Damn, that's hilarious. The Nux Taku Starter Pack. Shout out random JoJo references and pronounce anime correctly, like getting into the meat and potatoes of anime analyses, clapping my next flexes, and Nor Twigo, who's somehow everywhere. Someone calls me weird. Howdy fame. Nux Taku says, stay weird fam. Triumphant smile. That's right. Little did you know, Stay Weird Fam is actually a philosophical phrase that I've selected after much research and planning, and I will be telling you when I hit a million subscribers why I've decided on the word Stay Weird Fam past the superficial meme level. Bruh, if I could do it with Time Stop Hentai, I could do it with Stay Weird Fam. ZAWADADO! Nux, the world. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. Even if I don't do a ton of these episodes, if you don't like it, let me know, of course, in the comments what you think of it. I'm having a great time. I hope you like it. I'd like to do more because, low-key, I'm really proud that you guys actually you know, venture time making Nux meme, but damn, this is amazing. Nux makes subreddit for anime memes that won't get his channel demonetized. Fanbase, hentai memes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to make content that doesn't revolve around these ridiculously high like goals that you guys destroy every single time. Like, come on! Ask for 100,000 likes. Why can you actually get 100,000 likes on a video that's not even normal? To put it into perspective, someone like Logan Paul on his colorblindness video, you know, that one that was massive at the time, he asked for 100,000 likes and he had millions of subs. And here I am, low-key sort of hoping you don't break the like goals, and boom, out pops, you know, biggest flexes and anti number. 477. So here I come along. Make a subreddit so that I can actually talk about non-anti related stuff so that my channel's not at jeopardy. Fanbase. Anti memes. Uh, my homework. Nux made a subreddit. I, I do apologize about that. Ouch. Basically Nux. The world. Mm -mm. Zawardo. Mm -mm. Look fam, I'm gonna squeeze in as many Zawardos as I can in a video and you know that at this point. And I appreciate that even though a lot of you think it's cringe and let me know in the comments that it's cringe. Embracing the cringe makes us who we are. Yes. 
I'm going to turn this into some philosophical bullshit, mostly just because I want to keep saying so hard, though. How flexing has changed over the years. Weird flex, but okay. Next flex! You know it. Nux of Bakugo actually dies in season four. I mean, I've read the manga, so if that happens, it would terrify the shit out of me. But if he actually dies in the manga, I will legit die of laughter on the spot. Like, if Bakugo dies, big chance Lord Nuxinor will not be uploading videos ever again, unfortunately. But it would be hilarious. It would be like if Lord Twigo was the secret villain at the end of Seven Deadly Sins all along. Nux Taku puts himself flexing in his own YouTube video. <laughs> I know, it was a dick move. I just felt like I had to do- Okay, stop it! I get it! It was- it was horrible! Stop! I'm sorry! But it was kind of funny, though. Come on, it's a nice troll move if the biggest flex in Entai was my own personal flex. I mean, you gotta give credit where credit is due here! My friends, when I tell them I don't need a girlfriend, he's got way too much confidence in his right hand. Jojo quotes literally fit everywhere, and it's freaking beautiful. Biggest flex is an Entai video. You too. Yeah, this is somehow even more accurate than the Nux Taku Twitter bracket thing of. Hmm. Nux Taku! <sighs> Not all fan art is created equal. This one, though, is goddamn amazing! Nux, no one understands fairy tale. Fans, you were supposed to destroy fairy tale, not join them. <laughs> I was the chosen one. Uh, I am very proud of that fairy tale video, though. I got a lot of crap for it, but I got a lot of really great feedback, too. Uploading another biggest flexes video. Uploading another greatest planted anti video. Uploading nobody understands Zoro. <laughs> Uploading nobody understands the flexes in Zoro anti. Damn, when that comes out, you know I've gotten desperate. But Loki, I have to do this. Well, this episode is probably gonna be longer than most of the future Nuxtaku subreddit browsify meme vacationers, which is not gonna be the remaining name, I promise. Link is in the description of my subreddit. Feel free to flood that with memes, boys and girls, I guess, but like, we know the girls aren't weebs. We've already been through this. And I look forward to see what memes you guys pop in there for next time. Let's try not to make fun of Lord Nuxanor too much, but if you don't make fun of me at all, I won't have any content. Let's get that middle ground, please. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new, because Loki, this is turning out to be like my favorite community ever. I mean, I am slightly biased in the matter. Not very biased, but slightly biased, being that, well, it's it's, it's a community that I, I kind of started and founded, so maybe you think I'm biased, but also it's a goddamn amusing community. I freaking love it. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Legit, low-key, I cannot express to you enough how appreciative I am of all this. You can probably tell that despite the conniving old Lord Nuxinor, I'm really blown away by all the support you guys give, and I very, very much appreciate it. So check out that subreddit link right next to that is to my Twitter and to my merch and to my Patreon so feel free to check out all those subscribe for the next installment of my very edgy series that YouTube likes destroying which will be deleted soon after uploading so if you want to actually see it subscribing is pretty much your only hope let me know if you want future next taku subreddit of five ficators which I will have to come up with a name for and also feel free to let me know you know a name for it you can let me know in the subreddit you can let me know in the comments preferably in the subreddit because I could review them on the next one and maybe keep them mid-reaction. I had a lot of fun with this video. I had a lot of fun just browsing through your memes. Have yourselves a most wonderful evening and remember to stay weird, fam.